So, if you guys didn't know about Optimus, he's kind of a new creator on the rise, actually. I don't know how long he's been around. Apparently, he is growing at a rapid rate. I know him as that one boring guy that's me doing a podcast with, like, other commentary channels and my friend Diesel of the Patches. Now, my opinions does not reflect Diesel of the Patches' opinions. Diesel thinks that Optimus is a pretty chill guy, and I'm sure he kind of is from judging his videos. That doesn't mean that I have the same opinion as Diesel. I'm not part of the YouTube commentary network. I'm kind of just like a free agent, a freelancer, if you will. So basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm not restricted in what opinions I can bring out of certain people or rather talk about certain people. And that's kind of the beauty of my work. So if you want to support that, support free speech, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you got money to blow, there is the membership option and the Patreon and all that other YouTube stuff. Or you could just like and share the video, that would be awesome. Maybe join the pay, uh, blah, 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 join the Discord. That, that would be good. Yeah, let's grow community. But onto the video, I, uh, Optimus, right? So Optimus, uh, I mean, I've subbed to him and I've been watching some of his videos. There are a couple of issues. I mean, they're not really issues, I guess. They're just little things that just irk me. They irk me to no end. This isn't going to be a personal attack on him in any way. I don't dislike him so much or rather i don't even dislike him i dislike some of the things he's done it's nothing shady or nothing messed up worth like a say a, oh my god optimus exposed or anything like that it's more like just like pet peeves that i have with his channel i'm not gonna call them criticisms because i think that term's been used to heck and back and it's like oh, i'm gonna give you criticism to improve your channel i know youtube creators usually take that as oh my god who is this guy trying to tell me how to make my channel good look at my sub count that's just typically what goes through most of these big youtubers heads so that being said my main pet peeve with optimus and listen to this story um, yesterday, I believe he made a video on JayStation. JayStation is kind of a scumbag. Get, well, actually, kind of is an understatement. He's a total scumbag. Don't get it twisted. I'm not defending JayStation. He's a video for another day. Or if I was, uh, fully invested in just picking, like, you know, on, like, milking a, a cow, I'd, I'd probably do JayStation, because there's a bunch of things you could say about him that a lot of people would agree with. But basically, JayStation's latest scummy act was... Apparently, he wanted to sue or said he DMCA other commentary channels by the name of Colossal's Crazy and some other person that I'm sure is a big deal, but I've never heard of because I've never really fully been invested in the commentary community, uh, per se. All right, I, you could just say I live under a rock or a pineapple under the sea. Anyway, he said that he DMCA these people, and then Jay Station, like any big East celeb, decided to have kind of a mini meltdown, he made a blog outside and just basically talk to the haters now i saw jay station's video and it's like typical big youtuber mindset ego playing i wouldn't say he made coherent points but i will say he made one good point and that's basically the point that nobody seems to get across and that everybody wants to like like just walk past but like jay station legitimately said if you guys don't want me in power don't watch me and that's generally what it is it really is and i think the thing that annoyed me the most is optimus trying to devalidate that argument because that argument holds so much weight like literally if you don't want to give this dude power don't watch him literally you can blame youtube you can blame the people that watch him but like to blame j station or try to devalidate his argument just because j station bad man which he is he is a scumbag but just to do that is just terrible and i hate the fact that optimus tries to come off like he's some great debater or something like i can hear the bitchy tones in his voice and it's so annoying because he legitimately sounds like some butthurt individual trying to defend somebody in the commentary community to get more popularity and it's just so annoying optimus comes off as so condescending just because his main pitch is gonna be like it doesn't matter if i'm a good debater it's just people hate j station don't but take advantage of that optimus as somebody who's been around the debating community and debated multiple people you're not a good debater some of the things j station said weren't even deflects i bet you probably don't even know what a deflect legitimately is or what <laughs> i'm going so hard on this dude <laughs> i promise i don't dislike him legitimately uh, optimus you probably wouldn't even know what a straw man argument is if it hits you in the face another dumb thing that optimus said is basically he said it in a loose way to try to like confuse people but generally what he said is 
Chase Station, you're a, you're a, you're a trender, and and we can't help but to talk about you. Yes, you can. You don't need to make a video on J Station. Nobody does. The only reason you'd make a video on J Station is for clout chasing, because J Station is popular, unfortunately. Again, still a scumbag, but he's popular. And because of this, he's always going to be a trendy topic. That's just a given. Again, you can blame YouTube, but to go on this whole, I don't want to make videos on you, J Station, but you're leaving me no choice, is retarded. It's dumb. It's a stupid argument to make, Optimus. Come on, you're smarter than this, I think. And then, finally, the piece de resistance that really ticked me off about Optimus and made me shake my head and think, hey, is this guy, like, on the far left or something? Is the whole morality. Ma morality. And it's like, look, don't get it twisted. J Station is not a good person, at least not from what I can see. He is morally wrong, yes, but I hate when people try to bring up the morality argument from time to time, especially when not justified. And I think at this point in time, I don't think the morality argument was justified in being brought in, especially for what freaking J Station said. Because what J Station basically said is, if you guys don't want to give me power, don't watch me, it's not that hard. And it isn't. It, it really isn't. I don't understand the whole Optimus saying that he's trying to fucking... Like, you know, I don't know if he used the word manipulate or he used some other word like take advantage of or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what he used. I don't know his exact words. They were fucking terrible, though. It's really weird how he phrased his words to make J Station seem like he was taking advantage of people. Maybe I don't know enough about J Station. All I know is he's a douchebag, a piece of crap, and it's it's kind of weird that YouTube hasn't deplatformed him yet. I heard recently his uh, whole channel has been demonetized because he pulled some dumb stunt, but it's so weird to me that Susan and YouTube allowed this to happen for so long. You should be mad at YouTube. You shouldn't be mad at the people. But if Optimus gets mad at the people, people won't, you know, jump to his membership bandwagon. So that's why you can't really call out the people. Anyway, this whole morality crap is so dumb because it's like, morality, there is a point where it's like, all right, you just legitimately cannot and should not do this, right? And then there's a point where it's like, hey, if you steal a piece of candy, like, from the 99 cent store, I mean, that that bad, but, like, is it the end of the freaking world? And again, J Station is just kind of like having a spurg out moment, which is not surprising. Again, big YouTuber, big ego, of course they're gonna do this shit. And he, he actually made, unfortunately, a valid freaking point. Don't watch him. Don't talk about a trendy topic. But again, that rakes in the views, so Optimus can't help but talk about a trendy topic. I mean, if you've seen his uploads, he's literally made, like, four videos a day, on a regular sometimes, talking about trendy topics. And I get the YouTube grind, and I get why your analytics are going up, and that's probably why you're covering all these videos, to get your videos promoted, therefore more subs. I get it. And... Look, your content, that's subjective. That's totally subjective, which is why I won't throw that out. But if I wanted to give a legit opinion and tear into you even more, I could make the subjective argument that your content is pretty lackluster. Especially with all the money you're probably making at this point. Come on, let's be honest. Come on, Optimus. But that again goes into the argument for another day. The argument at how people making a shit ton of money can't afford to just optimize, no pun intended, their freaking content or even just make the effort to make better content. Like, Optimus makes the type of content I should generally be making because I'm literally making nothing off of this. <laughs> it's so funny. But if I was making a ton of money, like on a monthly basis, I'd probably invest in, you know, things to make the experience for my viewers a lot better. Just so they know I'm not just hoarding and grifting the money. But whatever, it's your channel, it's your subjective morality, right, Optimus? Because that's what you try to throw out for JStation, so I'll throw in my own ridic- You see how ridiculous this is? My own subjective morality back at you. I think it's subjectively morally wrong that you're depriving your fan base of giving them better content and just reducing yourself to crappy video game footage while you babble on for like 10 plus minutes giving us info on a topic which can be covered in literally two minutes. But hey, that's just my thoughts on the matter. God, I think I remember why I started making YouTube. Venting, to a large degree, is so liberating.